Hey guys, so I thought I would make this video to give you guys a little bit of the tea that went down at Playlist Live and to basically um, say what everybody is saying on uh, IG and TikTok and Insta and so on and so on. Playlist Live 2020, of course it was great. However, there was a lot of issues this year. For one, security. They did not need to be such assholes this year. Mind you not, okay? They need to take it just a notch down of what they were working with. Because them screaming and yelling at kids were making no sense. Second of all, you don't put your hands on a child. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you are security and you're working. I don't care if you are an employee of the Marriott. I watched two security guards put their hands on a young child because the child refused to move all the way around the North Tower. I get you want us to move. I get you want people to walk. But especially those who are staying as a sponsor in North Tower... And they have the key cards. You don't tell them to move or tell them, I'm sorry, I'm not going to let you up. The only problem we had, and this is my issue with it, was the fact of the Marriott. I love the Marriott. Do not get me wrong. Every year we go, every year we have a great time. However, when you check in and you are staying up at the tower and you are a sponsor and you have four people in your room... You are supposed to be given four of those special key cards that get you up into North Tower. They only wanted to give us one. And what was security saying? Oh, you must have a key card to enter or else we won't let you to your room. That was not our issue. If you want us to have a key card to get up to the room, talk to Marriott. Because obviously the Marriott has issues as to giving people what they wanted was the keys. So, I think that needs to change next year. Um, what else can we sit there and say? Um, us, oh, I'm not going to say no names, but a lot of the creators, no tea, a lot of the creators were really nasty towards kids, and I'm not going to say who because it's not mean, not throwing name shades. But um, if you're going to come to the event and you are a fucking feature creator and you don't want to see your fans, then what the fuck are you doing there to begin with? Honestly. And let's be honest. Way oversold, way overcrowded, and no room to walk. I think Playlist could have done better this year. However, I don't know if I want to go back. I'm looking into VidCon. But type down below your concerns with Playlist Live and hopefully you'll have the same ones I do. You know, as much as I love going every year, it just seems to get a little bit ridiculous.